and welcome to our first uh, wish versus nature video. Um, I'm actually going to go over the reason why this first started in our second video. I kind of explained it. It kind of stemmed from a challenge. Um, my husband has a gun. Uh, he is owner of Lockers Reptiles, who does birthday parties with the reptiles he has, wildlife nuisance control, and also removes um, injured wildlife and makes sure they get to they get to a rehabber or to a vet wherever they need to go. Uh, so, like I said, I'll kind of discuss the challenge that we have uh, between me and him in our second video. But ultimately, what's going on is I'm building a gun. <clears throat> compared to the gun that he uses in trapping and while we're out hunting at night um, But the catch is is I have to do it significantly cheaper off of wish because I told him that I could find very similar products that worked just as well uh, For a lot cheaper than what he purchased uh, from regular stores and places So the item that actually started that whole challenge is what we're going to cover tonight And I'll kind of explain what happened with that whole challenge or with that original challenge. But the first uh, item that we're actually gonna show is this, this scope that I ordered. Um, I will show y'all. Here is the scope. I will put a screenshot of the scope that I ordered with the specs on it. Um, it's supposed to be comparable to a particular brand I'll put there as well. Uh, we're building this off of my uh, 22 takedown and the catch is that everything that goes on this gun has to come off a wish so I have ordered I'm just gonna throw this in here it's not worth the whole video but I've ordered the strap uh, off a of wish it actually came in about three days we were super shocked and of course it's pink um, but it's pretty awesome nice little clips uh, the clips that actually attach it to the gun ordered off a of wish They'll probably come last, of course. Um, they're ordered a riser, another little scope. I call it the square laser scope. It has a real name. Um, and I also ordered um, a light, which is actually what I'll be covering tonight. So what we're gonna do is Marshall's actually already opened this and looked at it. He said it was pretty neat, uh, but he's actually gonna take it apart and slide it in. And we're gonna compare the accuracy on the farm uh, to his gun and it has to uh, meet a certain spec in order to actually meet the challenge. So when he gets back out here, we will unbox it and see what's going on. Okay, so here's the scope unpackaged. It was packed pretty well. Um, it's it's a pretty good size compared to Marshall's. Um, it came with the battery, the clips, and a cleaning cloth. I'm actually pretty surprised about the battery because if I've learned anything, it's stuff on which doesn't typically come with batteries. Uh, so there's the specs on it. Pretty cool little scope. And in just a little bit, it will be on there. Uh, eventually, he'll have to take it back off and reside it because the rest of the parts are going to come in. Um, but for tonight, I'll be able to use it just like it is. You hit the right bottom side. 
Nope, you know you didn't. I don't see it anywhere. You hit low and to the right, just outside the white ring. Uh, now you're just outside the red ring, low and to the right. Alright, which one are you aiming at? Okay, so we got it sided in. Finally, it took forever. Um, it took about 100 rounds. It took both of us taking turns. Uh, it turns out the takedown, because it is made to take apart, um, actually had some pieces that were um, a little loose. So Marshall tightened up a couple of them. Um, it's hit or miss. We had it sided in, and then it wasn't sided. And then we had to side it in, and then it wasn't sided, so it may be a little finicky. Um, in the end, we were able to side it, sit it down, come back, um, and it was still sided in. Hopefully, it'll stay that way. Uh, overall, I, it was a really good investment for $29. Um, definitely comparable. It has little um, lines. Not the normal crosshairs, but nor little lines that light up the different options. I think I'm going to cover that tonight when we go out and do our other video and just kind of tie that back in. But this was definitely a wish uh, win over nature. Uh, and I look forward to being able to use it and uh, use it with my light. I hope the uh, clips come in to be able to put the light on it. We're going to kind of fix it up tonight um, to make it temporary. But overall, this is definitely a win for uh, the Wish versus Nature. So I approve my $29 scope, and I really hope that the next challenge goes just as well. Um, but stay tuned. I'll post the other one tonight, or at least get it started tonight, and we'll uh, kind of explain how this got started too. Bye!